This conference will now be recorded. Right. Last class, we were talking about events. We have seen that there are two types of events available in LWC. Number one is your, right, the first event we, we see is called declaratively. And the second type of event is called programmatically. Remember that in declaratively, we need to go ahead and create an event, right? Using custom event with a custom event constructor. Then we dispatch event using dispatch event method. Whenever you are creating a custom event, the name of the custom event cannot contain capitals, no caps, no spaces, no special character except underscore. That is the reason if you see the yesterday's class, I was talking about, right, we stopped at this place programmatically. The event creation is same, both in declarative and programmatic. The only difference here is that along with the parameter, you need to also go ahead and declare bubble true. You also need to go ahead and declare bubble true. Along with the program, you have to go ahead and you have to declare, right, bubble true. This is how you have to declare, right? Detail, right, the data, contrast, comma, bubbles true, compose true. This is how you have to declare. So that is the difference between a declarative and programmatic. Now, before we go ahead and create the parent, yesterday we created this child. In the child, if you see, there are two buttons, right? I am creating a control called as contrast. In that, there are two buttons, increase and decrease. Whenever you are calling this button, immediately, INC con, DC con, con is been called. Here are the two functions. The work of these two functions is to create an event and dispatch event. And this time, it's programmatically. Whenever you are creating and dispatching an event programmatically, we used we have to use propagation bubbles to compost now it is a time for us to go ahead and create what the parent component where it will receive the event but before we do this right we need to learn a couple of more concepts right put a heading called as lwc hook put a heading called as lwc hook H O O K hook L W C hook right now start writing stages followed stages followed during a lightning web component creation stages followed during a lightning web component creation Two, two, lightning web component destruction. Stages followed during, right? Stages followed during LWC component creation to destruction is called component life cycle. Component life cycle is called component life cycle right so what is a component life cycle right from an lwc component creation to lwc component destruction whatever right the stages is followed we call them as right notepad let me Right, we call them as LWC life cycle. Now, what are the stages? Let's understand. Life, LWC life cycle. Life cycle. Now, let's see what are the stage. First stage, right? What is the first stage? The first stage is that component creation, right? 
component creation c r e a t i o n component creation right second stage insertion insertion to dom whenever the component is inserted to the dom third stage right these are the stages through which a component passes third stage all right whenever the component re-renders refresh happens after the re-renders right there if there is error right insertion re-renders error right in case if there's an error i'm going ahead right error finally right finally what will happen we will go ahead and we will the component will die or it will go to the destruction either the data refreshes or it will display an error this is the life cycle from a creation from a creation of a lwc component to a destruction of lwc component this is called life cycle at each life cycle we use certain constructors or methods at each life cycle we use constructor or method and those are called as hooks write down put a heading called as hook methods or constructor used methods or constructor used method or constructor used right at every stage of component life cycle method or constructor use at every stage every stage of lwc life cycle is called hook is called hook what is a hook hook is nothing but at each stage creation is a stage there we use constructor then second stage insertion to dom whenever you are inserting right insertion to a dom we use connected callback next in this stage we use connected callback whenever the data refreshes we use re-render callback control c re-render callback if there is an error then we use error callback i'm just copying and pasting from here error callback error callback see so this is not getting sufficient so connected callback re-render callback all right error error callback each stage finally destruction when the destruction comes we call disconnected callback at every stage one one method or you can see at each stage we have one method or a func or a a method or a constructor a method or a constructor one constructor and these are all methods connected callback re-render callback error callback disconnected callback you can see what are the stages we have creation insertion re-render error destruction these are the stages of lwc every lwc passes through this stage every lwc passes through this stage every lwc passes through this stage copy it down note it down first
life cycle, LWC life cycle, and the hooks. These are the life cycle stages available. Creation, insertion, re-render, error, destruction. Each stage, we have a constructor or a method. Creation stage, constructor. Insertion stage, connected callback, a method. Re-render stage, right? Re-render callback, a method. Error stage, error callback, a method. Destruction stage, disconnected callback. See? Every stage we have a hook. These are called hooks. What are hooks? A method or a constructor called during a LWC lifestyle, uh, sorry, LWC life cycle stage. LWC life cycle stages, we call them as hooks. There are five hooks available. If in an interview they ask you how many hooks are available, what is a hook? A method or a constructor used in a life cycle stage of LWC is called hook. Right? How many hooks are available? Five hooks are available. What are those five hooks? Constructor, connected callback, re-render callback, error callback, disconnected callback. One constructor and all callbacks. Constructor is at the time of loading, creation. So construct. Once it's loaded, then everything is a method. To refresh the data, right, method. To show the error method, method. To destroy, when you click the close button, the component has to be get destroyed. Then disconnected callback. Right? Done? Is it copied? Everyone? LWC life cycle hook. Yes? Perfect. Everybody understood? What is this? Yes? Every LWC component will will go through these stages. Right, and every stage there is one there is either a method or a constructor. So here are those method or a constructors. Now put a heading called as creation stage. Creation stage. Right, bracket. The hook we use is constructor. The hook that we use is constructor. Put a heading called as creation stage. The hook that we use is constructor. Right, write down. A constructor, actually this is also a method. It's a special method. All are method actually. The constructor method fires when a component is created. A constructor method is fired when a component is created. Write down the points. Number one, constructor flows from parent to child. Constructor flows from parent to child. Right? Full stop. Always call super before touching this. Write down. Always called super method, super function. Always call super before touching this. Before you touch this, you have to call what? Super. As always call super before touching this. Before touching this. Next. Super should be used without parameter next super must be used without parameter super must be used without parameter next do not use written statement inside a constructor there shouldn't be any written do not use Return statement inside a constructor. Next. Do not use document.write. It is there in integration classes. Document.write, document.open. Never use. Don't write document.write, document. 
don't use document dot write or document dot open bracket right soap api don't use this any apis inside constructor in other words so whenever you are using constructor the first thing is that you have to put super always put super before touching this super has to be no parameter right super has no parameters you remember now let's do it practically rupam what exactly do you want we'll see the remaining stages later currently we need only super by the way let me check whether my yesterday's right login is still valid or not i will say open the default org let us see whether right 24 hours is over my default org is still opening or not whether it's lost the credentials or not let us check if it lost we will authorize an org if it not we will continue with it so let me open the default org open default org ran successfully okay there we go it's running now without asking me and username and password it should be logging in and then we will go and verify the username there we go it opened up i click on manage user I click on user. Let me see it's showing LT23 or not. Right? Perfect. Rupam at the rate LT23. So within 24 hours, also my credentials are still stored because I didn't turn the laptop off. It's activated. Now, yesterday we created this child component where an event is created and the event is dispatch. Now I'm going to create a parent component right control shift p create a lightning web component what is that right i will just go ahead and say lwc underscore 2003 underscore example eg example how should i match it let me create on yesterday's date only if you don't mind 1903 underscore example example three underscore lwc event underscore programmatic pro pro right programmatically underscore parent i'm creating a parent component press enter press enter when lwc is getting created there we go a parent component in the parent component i will repeat the same story i will go to my right parent component html here i will say lightning card i'll use lightning card lightning card i will say title equals to vlc player title equals to vlc player vlc player inside this i will say volume no i will say control c o n t r o l control and here i will say value control equals to contrast value equals to 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 up to 100 or contrast can be increased contrast can be decreased where is the increase and decrease control available c colon dash yesterday's class child here we go child child vlc programmatically right click on it click on rename 
copy this right c dash this is the way you call this is the way you call here guys remember that earlier i used to use, use a on keyword o and on i used to use an on keyword o and on with the event but here you will not use anything that's it you'll just call the control right if you remember right in declaratively right whenever we are going to declaratively we used to use a on keyword on was a keyword yesterday on event the name of the event but here i'm not using any on keyword right that's it well programming is here now i go to the controller in the controller right there we go first thing that you have to use is constructor constructor here we go the constructor the constructor inside the constructor the first thing that you are going to use is super it's must super always use super first without parameter this is must this is this structure is must you like it you don't like it but this is the way you have to use it's super you have to say super now you have to add event listener if you remember programmatically right i already gave you the notes whenever you are using programmatical approach you have to add a listener this dot template to the template because the button the right here i am calling where is that right okay in the template i'm going okay in the template we are calling the vlc player the right we are calling the vlc player child the child component we are calling it in the child component you have increase button decrease button to this template what i'm doing now i'm adding a listener this dot template dot add event listener see here we go this is the way we add event listener this is the way we add event listener what do you want to add all right what do you want to add right i want to go ahead and add a event listener which event listener what is the event name you have to give the event name here i want to add event listener what event listener all right let me go ahead and see you are dispatching an event called as right event right contrast increase event con contrast decrease i want to add this event this bar okay okay whenever you listen this event what should happen immediately this dot this dot this dot handle notification anything you can give anything h a n d l e handle handle what a function handle what handle increase inc handle increase handle increase this dot handle increase right where is the handle increase now you will write the handle increase here i am writing the handle increase here this dot handle increase here is the handle increase copy a separate function handle increase every time i press enter this comes handle increase Let's see this dot right handle increase in the bracket event you can write it anything here handle increase right similarly i need to add one more same copy this control c one more event i need to listen 
template dot add event listener what is the second one the second event listener is event decrease control c i go ahead and i add it here event decrease handle decrease handle dec this dot handle decrease create one more function there we go handle decrease handle decrease right everybody is able to understand inside the constructor i have super inside the super this dot template to the template i have added an event listener there are two events so that's reason there are two event listener whenever the event is heard a function is called called handle increase whenever the another event is heard a function is called handle decrease anyone has any question till here anyone has any question till here right by the way we declared right two variables control i come here i declare two variable control second variable i declare val i go here val val equals to zero initially i'm giving zero control equals to waiting for button to press waiting for button to press anyone has any question till here guys anyone has any question till here you guys are able to understand it clearly yes others others anybody has any question till here right now perfect so there are a couple of things first let us go and increase the volume val this dot right if as usual yesterday's condition i'm using right if 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 what this dot val is right greater than equal to zero if this dot val is greater than equal to zero why if if this dot val is greater than zero and this dot val is less than equals to 100 then what do you want to do this dot this dot val is equals to this dot val plus one i'm increasing by one but this is not going to work remember that this is not going to work unless until you bind this this is not recognized this dot handle right this is not recognized if you remember that i told you before you touch this you have to use super super is used now what you have to do is that come here and say dot bind this bind dot bind bind what bind you have to use this then only these will be used otherwise they will not bind this always bind dot bind handle in that function i'm binding this dot 
in that function i'm binding this same way here when you decrease right whenever it's right now whenever it's greater than zero okay anyhow fine less than 100 then minus one see same program what we did yesterday but this time i'm doing it differently i'm doing it programmatically i'm adding an event listener and to that i'm adding the event to that i'm calling a function to the function i'm binding this this keyword has to be bind otherwise this whole piece will not work this has to work right same way i need to get the data i need to get the data then what i will do how to get that data right this dot this dot control control i'm copying this control c this dot control equals to event dot details ev and event dot d t a i l event dot detail what will do it will get the data from the event in the event you are passing what contracts contrast contrast in the detail you are passing contrast contrast that will be captured here and that will be given to whom to the control control will now show on the screen contrast i have to take this line for the second one also here we go this dot control equals to event dot detail event dot detail will get the value from the event and that value i'm passing it to the control i'm passing it to the control everybody clear anybody has any questions here before i start executing this all good there we go then control s on the keyboard now let's go ahead and deploy both i come here i say control shift p deploy this to the source arc we are deploying it to the source org the child components first there we go now i will come to the parent component Here we go, the parent. Control Shift P, deploy to the source arc. I'm deploying this also. Let me copy the name, rename, copy. Now let me log in. Login.salesforce.com. Rupam at the rate lt123.com password crm1234 hash enter Now I click on, let it come. I click on my setup. I click on developer console. Now here, I remove the name, delete, I put the name of the parent component. I save it and I click on preview. What happened? I didn't got anything. We didn't save the parent component, Rufam, I think. 
We didn't we? Okay, because this might be overlapping. Yes, we didn't save the parent component because on the top of my screen, my go to meeting panel bar, right, is overlapping. I didn't see that, so we didn't save it. Control S on the keyboard, save. Control Shift P, deployed as a source arc. Now I've moved my panel bar to the side. And that is happening whenever you do a screen sharing. You don't know the top bar what's happening. There we go. Now let us refresh it. I should be able to see. Right. Real C player. Waiting for the button. Waiting for the button to press zero. I click increase, see, contrast one, contrast two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Decrease, see. Same functionality the way we did it for the volume, but there we use declarative. Here I have used programmatically. That is the difference. Whenever you use programmatical, you have to use constructor, you have to add a listener. You have to add an event listener, right? While dispatching, while dispatching an event, you have to use compose true bubble true. You have to propagate. If you don't propagate, it'll not going to move forward. It's not going to move forward. See, same functionality what I did yesterday, same thing I'm repeating today, right? With programmatically. In the pro programmatical, we have to add event listener. To the event listener, we have to add the event. Which event you want to listen? Once ever, whenever the increase is pressed, increase event is heard, call a function, handle increase. To that function, bind this. If you don't bind this, then this will not work. This keyword will not work. If this keyword doesn't work, then you cannot calculate the values and everything. That is the reason you have to bind this. This is how right event programmatically done event programmatically done event programmatically done event programmatically done anybody has any questions Tell me, anybody has any questions? So Rupam, is this like our choice of choosing whether to go with the it is your correct. correct. It is your choice. Choose declaratively rather than programmatically. Declaratives are much superior and they are much faster where you don't need to use the hook you don't need to add event listener right you can directly using an on keyword so it will understand that the event has occurred on event name equals to call this function on event name call the second function here we have to add event listener two to event listener both are listening the event and that is to at the time of loading as soon as the component loads at the time of creation itself I have to add in listener and that listener will be active till the time the component is destroyed in the constructor I'm adding it you see at the time of loading initializing in it I'm adding to the template that means to the component I'm adding a listener what to listen two listeners I'm adding two spy one is called one will be listening event contrast increase in event contrast decrease whenever it heard what do you want to do call a function called handle increase handle decrease two individual functions are there handle increase handle decrease to that function i'm binding this and see handle increase handle decrease are written separately outside and those are called clear clear now Yes, sir. Anybody has any questions? Anybody has any questions? Mostly 
this looks like a component event what is a component event parent to child here we don't have a concept of component event as i told you but similarly this looks similar because in the pay in the parent you are calling the child you are clicking the button on the child and parent is receiving it you are clicking the button on the child and the parent is reacting parent is increasing the volume so this is mostly like a component event right because you are calling the child inside the parent rupam can you show us an example of application event if the two components are different then what will happen then we cannot go by declarative we cannot go by programmatically then we have to go with another concept called as pubshub one will publish one will subscribe that's it whenever there are two individual components want to talk to each other then we go by a concept called as pubshub component 1 wants to communicate with component 2 then it is called as pubshub pubshub button will be fired in one component another component will react not a parent component separate component sibling here this looks like a parent child because the parent is right example 3 right lwc event pro parent it's a parent inside the parent you are calling the child but now we will not go by parent child we will go separately the next concept is called pop shop pop shop pop shop right put a heading called as pop shop by the way this folder will be available to you i'll copy this pop shop folder pop shop let me open this publish subscriber model pop shop put a heading called as pop shop in a bracket in a bracket similar to application event in aura pop shop also known as single term also known as single term right now what is a pop shop here we go the pop shop structure whenever two components wants to talk to each other then you create one more lightning web component which act as a mediator between lwc2 and lwc3 they are not inside each other remember that within the same application if there are two components that means they are sibling they are not parent child they are individual component lwc2 is individual component lwc3 is individual component whenever lwc2 wants to communicate with lwc3 we need a third party component in between called as the pop shop file call as the pop shop file everybody able to understand yes or no how this concept work right two components wants to talk to each other then i'll have one intermediate file between them one neutral file one connecting file and the connecting file will be pop shop lwc1 it is a standard one it's a standard configuration this is how it works pop shop structure right those who want to draw they can draw this lwc2 wants to communicate with lwc3 then you need lwc1 as a pop shop as as a intermediate file between the both within the same application remember that it's not outside the application whenever it's outside the application then the concept is called lms lightning messaging service which you'll see next week probably saturday next saturday lms and just so today we will see this pop shop model what you have to do in the pop shop model rupam right 
all the steps are clearly defined to you what you have to do right step one create a lightning web component and name as PubShop. see i have given a clear instruction what to be done a clear instruction is given to you that this is the way we'll use a pub shop right so let's do this the steps are here completely defined the steps are here you can see right steps are here so let us go ahead and do this now first step what i'm going to do all right come to your lwc close everything let's close 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 right the step one clearly says that right first right go ahead and create a file an lwc component name pub shop so let me go ahead control shift p p u b s u b pub shop press enter right oh right sfdx control shift p create a lightning web component what is the name pub sub press enter press enter a lightning web component is created right second step once it get created right update the pubshop.js with the following default code base go to the pubshop folder i've given you pubshop.txt this is copy paste program nothing else you don't need to i'll explain this program don't worry pubshop right i will go ahead and i'll right we i will show you what is this so control a control c control a copy Control A, Control C. Just copy this program. You can find them in the Google also, right? Where is that? Come here. Go to the JS. Remove everything. Delete, blank, paste, copy paste, copy paste, copy paste. Control S on the keyboard. Here you can see that you remember this callback hooks. Callback is a hook, right? Callback, see? Callback, callback. All these are hooks, callback hooks. Some hooks are used. You'll see more hooks. Rubum, what is this file? This file has four function register, unregister, fire unregister all right there are four functions finally it is written in. whichever component wants to communicate they will register after register only they can fire whenever they want to stop communication they can unregister it and all these programs are written which you don't need to worry about it you just need to copy paste you don't need to understand this Rupam, what is this new set what is this new event name these are just a file, copy it, leave it, forget it. Your work is not here. This is a common file, which is a say program, a program given by Salesforce. You're just copy paste this in your project. It is something like a library, which is helping the two components to communicate with each other. It is helping two components to communicate with each other. Now I will create the first component. I will create the first component now. Keep watching. Control Shift P. Create a Lightning Web component. I will give the component name anything. I will say I will say PubShop P U B S U B PubShop. Right. I will say Publisher PubShop underscore Publisher P U B L I S H E R. Publisher work is to send. Publish and subscribe. Subscriber work is to receive. Subscriber will not communicate back. Remember that. It's only one direction. It's only one direction. Publisher will 
a button is clicked on publisher the reaction will be seen in the subscriber subscriber will re receive or will try to get that button click it's a publish subscribe model it's not a vice versa model remember that one will publish other will receive it it's something like right one will publish publish receiving it's only one direction so i press enter i press enter a component got created and the name of the component is right pub shop publisher let me come to the right template here i will say lightning card l i g h l i g h t n i n g lightning card title t title title equals to pub shop pub s u b pub shop and this is a publisher P U B L I S H G R publisher. Publisher work is to publish, post, post the message. Publisher work is to post the message. Post the message. That's it. The work of publisher is to post the message. Control S on the keyboard, saved. Now, here, I want a place where you can type a message. A place where you can type a message right so i will say lightning oh taps on l i g h t n i g lightning i n p u lightning n i n g lightning input input i will say type label equals to enter your name Enter your name. Enter your name. Right. Next, on change. On change. I will call a function. N M C H N name change or name. N M N M E something. Like this, I'll have two or three fields. I'm capturing it. Enter your phone. Enter your message. Here, P H E. Here, M S G E. Finally, one button. Lightning button. Label equals to submit. On click. On click. Call a function. Sub me. Variant equals to brand. A blue button will come. There is that's it. Nothing else. Three field where you can enter the data, and there's a submit button. Now let me go ahead. Right here we go. NME function. I go to the Java controller. I create a function called first one NME. This is a function. In that event. Like this, there are how many functions? There are three functions. Control C, Control V, Control V. First one was enemy. Second one was PHE. PHE. Third one is MSG. MSGE. And there is a one more function I have to create. What is that function? That is for your sub -me. That is sub me. So I come here, sub me. Four functions got created. Now here I need to have a variable where I can store the data. NAME name one variable. PHONE phone one variable. MSG message one variable. All these are variables. 
how to capture the data how to capture the data this dot this dot name is equal to what is that event event dot event dot tell me guys event dot how to capture the data from an input that are you that value event dot even dot target, target dot, dot value. Target don't forget this value even dot target dot value target whatever spelling. you entered in the name t a r sorry t a r um, t a r target even dot target dot value whatever you are entering in this nme will be now stored in name same way whatever you enter in phone it has to go to the phone whatever you enter in the message it has to go to the message phone i go and replace this dot phone message this dot message over now first you have to connect to this pop shop you created a pop shop file here you go in the you created a java there's no nothing html only javascript Right. This is an intermediary file. Copy the name. Pop shop. First import. First step is import. Import. Import what? Import. Right. Import. Pop shop. From. From where you import? You import from C colon. Pop shop. The name is pop shop. Import it. This is the intermediate file. So I've imported the pop shop. Now in the pop shop, first before we go ahead, whenever you click the button called sub me, submit me, right? I am creating let a let keyword. Now Rupam, what is this let keyword? Let's go to Google. Let keyword. Everyone should do a research. I'm trying to use the latest technology in my program. Let in Java. In J A V A JavaScript. Let in JavaScript. Remember that let keyword was introduced in EC6. See, let is not there in EC5. I didn't use the let keyword in Aura because Aura supports EC5. Whereas LWC, LWC is a ECMA 6, ECMA 7 compatible. If you remember those classes, what is ECMA standard? Let, there are two new keywords has been used. Let is the keyword, right? Let and CONST. The two new keyword has been used in the ECMA 6 onwards. There's a two new keyword is used. Let keyword is used to declare a variable. Variable. A variable. Now, what is this let keyword? Go ahead and do some research on let keyword. What is the difference between let and var? You can use var also, but if you use var, you'll lose the formatting. That is the reason. Now, I'll tell you what is the formatting. Why I'm using let. I could have used var. But I'm using a let keyword. It's the latest keyword supported by ECMS 6 and greater. LWC is ECMS 7, so I can use let. Let MESSAG message is equals to I'm composing a message. I'm composing a message. But now I'm composing in a multiple line, see? And the same formatting will be maintained. Here I will say key, right? Mm, let's say that name of the sender, right? Name or sender name, sender name, colon. What is the message? This dot, the name is stored in name. Sender name will come from here. This dot name. Next. Sender phone. 
सेंडर फोन वट इज देंडर फोन सेंडर फोन की वैल्यू दिस टॉट वट इज द फोन फोन वॉट एवर यू कैप्चर्ड फोन नेक्स्ट मैसेज वट इज द मैसेज दैट यू टू पास this dot msg see sender name sender phone message remember that i didn't give a paragraph that it is a json format in a json format it will go in a one line but here i have split into three lines pretty this is called pretty json pretty format when i pass this data right if i don't use let if i use var then this all will come in one line one after one immediately after this sender name will come sender phone will come then message will come but no rupam i want the same exact format thing to be maintained when i receive the message i should receive them in three lines that is the reason we are using let let retains the format whereas var doesn't retain the format of the data it will send the data but the format will not be written it will come in all in one line sender name rupam immediately after that sender phone 888 sender message hi how are you this is the way the var will come if you use let sender name rupam next line sender phone 888 next line message hi how are you that is the difference between let and a var so i'm using let more you can do the research now you need to go ahead and you need to fire it what is that we imported pop shop pop shop pop shop pop shop dot pop shop dot fire in the pop shop there is a fire available here we go pop shop dot finally this is the output fire control c i say pop shop dot fire in the bracket give the event name what is the event name right you can give any name e v e n t event n o t i f i my name is event notify you can give any name right comma where is the data my data is message so send the event along with the event send the message see and that is will be given to the pop shop file not to component directly to a pop shop file it will be given to a pop shop file now it is a time for me to go ahead and write a subscriber file a file which will be receiving it right control s anybody has any questions in the publisher i have three fields one button you fill the field i capture the data these are the all the program to capture the data which i highlighted it will capture the data once the data is captured they will be stored in the variable name phone message whenever you click the publish button i want to post the message so i created a message and then i use that pop shop file and fire i give a name to the notification and the message that i created i fired it now i will create one more pop shop subscriber publisher is over control shift p create a lightning web component p u b s u b pop shop underscore this is a subscriber s u b s c r i b e r earlier was a publisher this is a subscriber i'm creating press enter earlier was one publisher this is subscriber the work of subscriber is to receive the message so i go here to the template i use a lightning card lightning card lightning card press enter title equals to pop shop pop shop and this is a subscriber 
subscriber to receive the message to receive the message this is to receive the message it cannot give back the message but it can only receive receive the message right i will say bold tag inside that i will say star 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 i will say message message received from publisher right and then i will give a paragraph tag paragraph tag and below after the paragraph is given right i'll publish the message whatever the message i got whatever the format is done there that same format i have to use so i will say lightning l i g h t n i lightning formatted text what is that here is lightning formatted text value is equals to equals to available anything messag message value equals to message value equals to message that's it here we can only display the message control s remember that we created a variable called message copy this go to the subscriber right come here declare the variable message you have to import pop shop the way you imported pop shop in the publisher now in the subscriber also you have to import import pop shop there also you have to import because both publisher and subscriber are connected to one model both publisher and subscriber are connected to one model that's a one intermediate file and the file name is pop shop see here also i connected pop shop now what you have to do first thing is that right i have to use i'll use a hook whenever the component is inserted i want connected callback to be called whenever you are inserting after creation right whenever the component is inserted i want the callback to be called i want the callback to be called connected callback right at the time of insertion we we call a hook called as connected callback so there we go i go ahead and i say connected connected callback it's a method hook i'm calling what do you want to do in this hook right i will say right this dot this dot register don't think that this is the register in the pop shop no this is you can give any keyword register whenever the component is inserted in the dom we use a hook called as connected callback this is the hook which is inserted called when the element is inserted in the document see called when the element is inserted in the document that means whenever this lightning web component will be inserted in web page this hook will be called connected callback it's a it's a stage of a life cycle in that stage we can use connected callback in this stage in the connected callback i'm calling i'm registering a function called this dot register what is this function here i'm writing here register here we go the register function mm -hmm. register function actually i can write all the program there itself now i will say now i am saying pub pub sub this pop shop pop shop dot in the pop shop let me go to the pop shop .js, there is a register is there here it is this is a function from the pop shop i'm copying control c i come here and i say pop shop dot register pop shop dot register register what register the event register the event 
what is the event name we gave if you go to the publisher we gave the name of the event as no event notify and there is a message so i come here i say register that event notify okay whenever this is found then what should i do this dot call a function this dot handle handle me handle event any name you can give in that in that you have to say dot bind if you remember earlier also i used bind bind what bind this whenever you heard this event immediately call this function and bind where is handle event it's a separate function there we go handle event it's a separate function and inside this i will say message from event message from event or evt anything because while you are publishing you are passing this message this message is there that message will be now called as message dot evt now where you have to store this message in this message at line number 6 because that is what displayed in the screen so i'll say this dot message now most of you might it will be bounced here couple of them will not be able to understand what i'm doing i will go ahead and i will stringify this message from the event i receive a message you have to stringify it json stringification question mark j s o n json dot stringify stringify json dot stringify see convert a javascript value to a javascript object notation a json i want to pass it you have to stringify it guys json dot stringify if you don't know just use it blindly as of now after the class you can do some research on json stringification go to google type json stringification it will tell you what is this what do you want to stringify i want to stringify the message that i received from the event up oh. control v suppose there is null see system is giving you the help suppose it's a null right what do you want to do if it's a null then i will go ahead and i will say slash t right return nothing with a comma slash t finally whatever this whole is one key and if it's not found if the data is not there use no messag message pay load some message no message payload that means there is nothing inside it if you don't find if you find everything is good this dot message equals to message from event right question mark json dot stringify what do you want to stringify i want to stringify the message that i received in the handle event if it's null then format it to t and put it is message called as no message payload if if a data is there then put it in dot message this is what it is doing few of you might not be able to understand but tomorrow also on the next class also i'll use the same thing control s over guys my pubshop programming is over my pubshop programming is over now it is time for me to deploy this components in the my environment first you will go ahead and you will put pubshop control shift p deploy this resource org first the pubshop file done now come to the publisher control shift p deploy the source org next subscriber control shift p 
deployed the sosol all the three components i deployed the publisher the subscriber now how i'm going to do this right there are multiple ways resume here i want to put side by side so i will say lightning layout lightning layout inside that i will have a lightning layout item lightning l a y o u t layout item every layout item should have a size a size that is size size equals to 6 there will be two layout item side by side i'm placing in the first layout item i'll call the publisher c dot let's go ahead publisher here we go publisher right click rename copy i come here c colon publisher in the another side layout i will call the subscriber the one who will be receiving it here we go right click rename subscriber i go and paste there one publisher one subscriber you can see i save it if i have not made any mistake anywhere things should be working absolutely fine right i'm waiting for the preview to come all right what is that update preview it's loading now see this side is pub shop publisher that side is subscriber to receive the message post the message i post the message your name rupam your phone number 8888 message message hi guys good morning hi guys good morning as soon as i click this button submit i should be able to see the message there see two different components they are not linked to each other neither i called one component inside the other component but you see that you click a button in one component the other component is reacting sender name rupam sender phone 888 sender message hi good morning this is called publisher and the other component is called subscriber publisher subscriber model who is the mediator between these two files pubshop pubshop is the mediator between these two files who is the mediator between these two files one is the publisher one is the subscriber between them one standard file is sitting and the name of the standard file is pubshop file the name of the standard file is pubshop the name of the standard file is pubshop guys everybody is able to understand yes or no the overall concept i know that programming is for the first time you are doing so that could be a confusion and that for that you have to go ahead and you have to review these programs you have to review these videos i do understand that rupam is doing it but we need to review this in the publisher i created all the three inputs i am capturing the data i am forming the message what i am doing first on the template i am designing three inputs one button then i go and capture all the three data and i store in the variable called name phone facts then i import the pop shop i i form the message and then i call the pop shop i fire it with the event name and the message over so simple next i go to the subscriber there i want to display whatever the message that is been see so there is nothing only one apex lightning formatted text right so now i click on right javascript whenever the button is clicked connected callback i'm calling during the insertion stage 
there I'm registering this notify event. While I notify this event, whenever this event occurs, I will receive and that event will be handled by handle event, a function, and here is the handle event. The work of the handle event is to just stringify the message that has been received from the event and put it in this message variable. And that message variable is now displayed on the screen message. And that's exactly what is happening. You post Rupam, C-H-A-K-R-A-B-O-R-T-Y. Phone number, 888-55555. Right, submit. Immediately the message will go. Right, by tomorrow end of the day, this folder, including the PopShop file, because you need to copy paste this program, along with the PPT and both the PopShop file programming will be there. Right, everyone? Got it? Yes, sir. Anyone has any questions? Anybody has any questions? Anybody has any questions? All right. What is that, Sushma? Hook. I started my class with the hook, right? What is a hook? I gave you the definition. All right. Method at every stage of LWC lifecycle is called hook. What is that? Renaming hook, Sushma? Right. Remaining hook we'll see later. Next class, today class, we have seen constructor connected callback. Remaining classes, we will see the remaining hooks. Don't worry, hooks will come. Today class, we have seen the only the first two hook, constructor and connected callback. Remaining hook will come in the remaining classes. We'll use one by one all these hooks. It will be there. Don't worry about it. Till here, it's okay or not. Don't run in the future. Next here, class, I will use will remaining hooks also. That is what I'll give you, no. or you can download it from Google. That is no. what I told you. By tomorrow evening, this file will be available in your shared location. Or you have to download this pop shop file from Google. You can go to Google and you can also download it from there. You need not to wait for me if you want. Right? Just go ahead and type pop shop, right? LWC, LWC, PUB, PubShop file, PUB, Pub, SUB file. Just save PubShop file. It will give you a location from where you can download the PubShop. Developer dot, it will, it will be there at some location. You have to have the JavaScript file. Without that, you cannot. And that is what we are not going to write. It will be by default, you can download it. Right? From the GitHub, you see that? Here it is. Use the PopShop module. In the container, right? See? Use PopShop module. Download the module from here. Here we go. The location is there. Click on this. Download. Hmm. Where is the pop shop? Here is the pop shop file. One file with that. Where is the pop shop file? JSON, read me. Where is that pop shop file? Right, package, package it. Right, config. It should be under something. VS code. Right now, let's see. Oh, sorry, it will be here, my mistake. Under LWC, here is the pop shop, and you'll be able to see one pop shop.js. Here is the file, you can download it. 
so it's available or i can give you see same program copy finally you have to see export this is the one register event file event this file you have to this program you have to copy that's a here is a copy copy raw content and paste it it is there in the github under war under force right lw sits there pop shop right so this file can be downloaded just go and type in google and it says that use pop shop module right download the module from here pop shop clear guys now for the next class you have to be get ready with certain things next class i want one system in the class which has all these done if you don't i might not be able to show the execution end to end i might show you only with the slide and i can give you right one of the execution recording if you want me to execute that in the class i need to take over someone's system because these why rupam my laptop is an official laptop and my just is been configured with our environment i cannot override those it will give an error that is the reason i want one of the laptop in the class to be configured what to be done rupam right to show just let me go ahead everybody has to do this step and come back let me open the just ppt it's there just testing just let it open just right how to use just what is just we'll talk about it all these things you know i'll explain what is just how does it work first thing go to download note.js everybody will download these are the steps i'm giving you wait you will download and install note. you don't need to download npm it's coming up today anyhow so first go to google right type note.js go to google type note.js download js download here it is go to the note.com note.org.com click on it here we go go to the recommended for most user current this is the latest version version 17 take 16th version it is a standard edition 16.14 and use windows those who are mac operating system or any other operating system sorry i will not be able to support right go to the windows and download right download msi version not exe 34 or 64 bit download click on 64 bit sets downloading msi download it 64 bit click on it it will install node.js first step download node in your windows environment 64 bit take msi take msi right install it after the installation is done you download and install second steps execute this command in your dos prompt open dos nothing but start cmd type cmd a command prompt will open type npm install this command you will type whatever i am showing you npm 
INSTALL. Press enter. NPM install. This will take 45 minutes, usually takes time. So execute this command in the line that I gave you, like this. And then after it completes, initialize it, npm init. Then install jest, npm install jest, same command, whatever is there in the green, execute. Then right, either you add, Execute this command or this command, meaning is same, both are same. Anyone, either four or five. Actually, I four I have cut it. So four don't. Okay. If you want, you can four don't. After you install, you will just run this command finally. I'm pasting these commands, don't worry. In the chat window. Control C. By the way, it's installing. You see that? It's installing and it will take time. Everybody will install this. There you go. And finally, you'll run this command. After step three, directly step five. I've copy pasted the steps to everyone on the chat window. This process is going to take time. So complete this process and then come to the class. See, I'm getting a warning. See, found 100 issues. Now I have to say NPM audit fix to fix them. NPM. A U D I D audit fix. Now it will verify the integrity and then start fixing those hundred issues. Ninety six moderate, four high. See, like this, you have to keep it ready. It is trying to fix my installation. My installation after fixing also will give an error because my system is quite configured with different sandbox servers. Programmatically, they are configured. So that is the reason I might not be able to show up whole end-to-end -end process of just in my system. So I need a system in the next class. I will do a screen sharing. If nobody brings, then don't blame me that I have not shown you execution. Yeah, so that still the completion, still there is error. Right, everyone able to understand what I am talking about? These steps, three steps you'll do and you'll come. Everybody is okay? Yes or no? Guys. Yes. Yes. Sir. Others. Right. So you have to do all these steps and then you have to come back to the class. Okay. Right. We'll stop it here today. Right. Next class, I'm going to show you LMS Jest. Right. LMS and Jest. Lightning messaging service and just that is the next class we'll deal with. So that's it for today. We'll stop here. Thank you. Have a nice and wonderful day. Happy weekends. As usual, right, we'll meet next week at the same time. Yep, anybody has any questions? Uh, Rupa, one last. Uh, you were saying something about singleton, no? Uh, can you say it? what is exactly the singleton? Nothing. Is? It is nothing but your pub shop is also known as singleton. Okay. In LMS, pub shop is also known as singleton. So it is called as a pattern? It is a pattern, yes. 
Okay. Fine. Okay. Any other okay. questions, okay. anyone? That's good. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, welcome, welcome. No issues. Any other questions, anyone? So that's it, guys. Thank you. Have a nice and wonderful day. Happy weekends. Let's meet on next Saturday, same time, same link, Saturday morning, right? 8.30. Next Saturday, we'll meet. Okay. So till then, have a nice and wonderful day. Happy weekend. Happy weekdays. Bye-bye, guys. Take care. Thank you, sir. Wish you the same.